calves and Achilles tendon. We start with the calves. Sit down on the floor and bend one leg. The other leg rests on the black roll, placed just above the heel. Now, place your hands behind you and push yourself up. Start to roll slowly. The roll moves in the direction of the back of the knee. In this exercise, the bent leg and the hands have to lead so that the straight leg stays relaxed. The foot hangs down loosely and is not flexed. In order to optimally hydrate the fascia and achieving a good massage effect, roll slowly and controlled. By slightly turning the feet in and out, different parts of the calf muscle will be reached. In case you feel pain in the wrists or hands, you can choose to lean on your underarms. Each leg will be rolled 20 to 30 seconds. Switch legs afterwards. The massage effect is increased when one leg is folded over the other. To reach deeper into the muscle fibres and to treat targeted points, take the black roll block and either put the mini roll or the black roll ball on top. This way we work on local pain points. Place your leg directly on the ball or roll exactly where the point is. Carefully roll back and forward on this point for about 20 seconds. The pain we feel during rolling comes from adhesions between the different parts of our muscles and the fibres they consist of. These adhesions are resolved when we roll. This increases the muscle's flexibility as well as its performance. The pain can be decreased or fully disappear. We should always try to reach our pain limit during rolling, and if necessary, even surpass this limit in order to release hardened structures in the soft tissue. The pressure should always be high enough to the point it is still acceptable. However, do not go beyond this point. Ultimately, not only the pressure is essential, but the muscle region must also be relaxed and the breath steady, deep and calm. After the massage, the relevant muscle region should continue moving loosely in order to stimulate blood circulation and optimally supply oxygen to the muscle. Hamstring, lower thigh. Place the black roll underneath the thigh, just above the knee. Push yourself up from the floor with your hands behind you. Roll out one leg on the black roll, slowly from the back of the knee in the direction of the buttocks. Place one leg on the roll and keep the other leg bent, with your foot on the floor, close to the buttocks, to support the movement. After 20 seconds, turn the leg inwards and then outwards, to reach the whole muscle. The breath is consistent and calm. Open the chest. The massage becomes more intensive when we put one leg on top of the other to increase the pressure. Gluteus, buttocks. We sit on the black roll and lean back on our hands. With minimal movement, we roll the full buttocks. After 20 to 30 seconds, take one arm off the floor and turn on one side of the buttocks. 
continue rolling the gluteus slowly and controlled. After 20 to 30 seconds, repeat the exercise on the other side. To reach the deeper parts of the muscles, place the left foot on top of the upper leg of the right leg. In this position, you're making space in the musculature of the left side of the glutes. You now roll this side out. An even deeper massage effect can be reached with the black roll ball. With the ball, one pressure point can be locally and specifically targeted. Change sides and repeat. For this exercise, any black roll can be used, as well as the black roll ball and the duo ball. The smaller the ball, the more precise the pressure points can be reached and treated. Outside lower leg muscles. Place the black roll just above the ankle joint and come into a side plank. Use your arms for support and place the upper leg in front of you. Slowly roll the outside of the lower leg until the knee joint. The leg on the roll stays loose and relaxed. To intensify the massage, put one leg on top of the other, increasing the pressure. To reach pressure points even better, use the mini roll and place it on top of the black roll block. Do exactly the same exercise as described. In order to reach the full musculature of the lower leg, slightly turn the leg in and out during the roll out. Breathe deeply and consistently. Roll each leg for about 20 to 30 seconds. Outer thigh, upper leg. Place the black roll above the knee, under the outer side of the thigh. The top leg is bent and placed in front of you to support. Place the hands in front of you on the floor to hold yourself up in this sideways position. Now roll the leg slowly. The black roll rolls towards the hip. When you reach local pressure points, stay there until the sharp pain becomes dull. Subsequently, roll out the complete area of the upper leg. In order to reach the full musculature of the upper leg, slightly turn the leg in and out during the rollout. Change legs after 20 to 30 seconds. To intensify the exercise, put the top leg on top of the lower one.
Upper leg, quadriceps. Position yourself on your knees in front of the black roll. Go into plank position and place your forearms on the floor, palms down. Your upper legs rest on top of the black roll. Use your arms to slowly roll the black roll in the direction of the hips. The purpose is to reach the full front of the quads. To make the exercise less intense, place one leg next to the roll on the floor. After 20 to 30 seconds, start to turn your foot slightly in and outwards during the rollout. This makes sure all muscle fibers of the quadriceps are reached. Change legs and repeat the exercise. Start by rolling in the direction of the hip before turning the foot and reaching the entire quadriceps. To intensify the exercise, cross one leg over and place it on top of the other. Inner thigh, adductors. Lie belly down and place one leg slightly bent on the black roll. Place the roll on the inside of the thigh, just above the knee. Support yourself with your forearms on the floor. Now, start rolling by shifting your weight onto the forearms. The black roll moves towards the groin and back again. After 20 to 30 seconds, repeat this exercise on the other side. Lower back, lumbar vertebrae. Start by sitting on the black roll, with your feet hip width apart. Knees are bent. Place your hands or your forearms on the floor to support the position. Use your arms to lead the movement so that the black roll can massage the lower back and glutes while keeping this area relaxed. Breathe calmly and consistent. A proper oxygen supply is important to have an optimal regeneration effect. With the black roll duo ball, the pressure points are reached more precisely. The duo ball is placed and used in exactly the same way as the black roll. This exercise should be done for about 20 to 30 seconds. In case the massage is too intense, it is also possible to move to a wall and perform the movement while standing. This procedure is described in the standing exercise chapters. Upper back, thoracic spine. Place the black roll in the center of your back before raising the buttocks. Place your hands on the hips. Now roll from the middle of your back downwards until the black roll reaches the shoulder blades. 
The shoulder blades are the natural stop in this movement. To reach all the parts of the back, embrace your own chest and try to reach for your shoulder blades. Now the upper back opens up. If doing this feels okay, roll all the way up until you reach the neck. To progress, stretch your arms out over your head and keep them in line with the upper body. After 20 to 30 seconds, slightly turn the upper body to the right and then to the left while rolling on. In case the massage is too intense, it is also possible to move to a wall and perform the movement while standing. A deeper massage effect can be reached by using the black roll duo ball, reaching the pressure points more precisely. Lateral muscles of the lower trunk. Start by lying on one side and push the upper body up, supporting the body on the forearm. Place the black roll under the torso, preferably under the rib cage. Extend the lower leg out and use the upper leg to stabilize the position by bending it in front of you. The arm that is free is placed on the floor or on your hip. Slightly raise the hips and move the torso downwards with support of the upper leg and slowly roll the black roll upwards. This exercise can be performed with any black roll. The harder the roll, the more intense the massage effect. By slightly deviating to the front and back, you will reach all lateral muscles of the trunk. After 20 to 30 seconds, switch sides. Latissimus, lats. Start by lying on one side and push the upper body up, supporting the body on the forearm. Place the black roll under the chest. The lower leg is extended out. Use the upper leg to stabilize. The arm that is free is placed on the floor. Raise the hips slightly and move the torso downwards with support of the upper leg, slowly rolling the black roll upwards along the latissimus muscle. Roll up towards the armpit. After 20 to 30 seconds, switch sides. Forearms. Kneel down on the floor and place the black roll in front of you. 
Now, place both forearms on the roll just under the wrists and roll forward while keeping your back straight and the palms of your hands facing downwards. By exerting slight pressure, pressing the hands downwards, roll up until the elbows and back again. A turning movement of the hands, in and outwards, will bring about a full forearm massage. chest muscles, pectorals. Take the small black roll ball in your right hand and place it on the right chest muscle. Place the left hand on the right hand and apply pressure on the ball. Point elbows outwards. In a rocking motion, shift the arms to move the ball side to side while keeping the pressure on. Pay close attention to your breathing while performing the massage. In order to increase the pressure, take the black roll block in both hands and push on the ball with its surface. Instead of our hands, we can also use a wall to create the counter pressure. Continue massaging the pectorals in a sickle shape. Take about 20 to 30 seconds on each side. Comfortably lie down on your back and place the black roll or black roll ball underneath the lower part of the back of the head, in the neckline. Slowly and controlled, move your head left and right, like saying no. The pressure should be felt more in the back of the head than in the neck. Count to eight when reaching one side. Then slowly move the head to the other side and count again. Continue the exercise for about one minute or longer if required. This massage can also be done using the small or big duo ball. Shins. Go down on all fours, keeping the wrists in one line with the shoulders. One leg is bent and placed on the black roll. The other one is responsible for supporting the movement and balance and is placed next to the roller on the floor. Our weight is evenly carried and is not only loaded on the arms. We roll the outer side of the shin from the knee in the direction of the foot. The toes point towards the floor. After 20 to 30 seconds, start to carefully move the foot left and right to reach the full range of the shin muscle.
for a higher intensity, lift up the standing leg and cross it over, placing the ankle on the middle of the bent leg, on top of the black roll. Alternatively, the duo ball can be used to reach the pressure points more precisely. Each leg is rolled for 20 to 30 seconds. Soles of the feet. Place the mini roll on the floor and put one foot on it. The other foot is placed parallel next to it to have an optimal weight distribution. Now start to roll the full plantar fascia, the soles of the feet. Carefully tilt the foot left and right to reach all the parts under the feet. The more weight we put on the foot, the better the massage effect. When you reach local pressure points, stay there until the sharp pain becomes dull. After every pressure point we locally treat, roll out the entire foot again. You can reach an even deeper massage effect with the small black roll ball. The ball allows you to work on local pressure points more precisely. Upper back muscles, standing. Stand with your back against a wall. Do a shallow squat and slightly bend the knees. Lean into the wall slightly. The black roll is placed between you and the wall at the height of the thoracic spine. Now roll downwards slowly until the legs are in a 90 degree angle. Then come back up again by stretching the legs. The entire upper back is reached in this exercise. Keep your breathing consistent and calm, so that the chest opens up. In order to optimally hydrate the fascia, and for a proper massage effect to be reached, roll slowly and controlled in this exercise. When you take away one shoulder from the roll, the pressure on the other side of the back is increased. This way, the entire back musculature can be reached. When you reach local pressure points, stay there until the sharp pain becomes dull. Any black roll can be used for this exercise. For a deeper massage of the full upper back and around the spine, it is recommended to use the black roll duo ball. For more targeted massage of the pressure points, use the small black roll ball. Lower back muscles, standing. Stand with your back against a wall, do a shallow squat and slightly bend the knees. The black roll is placed between you and the wall at the height of the sacrum. Now roll downwards slowly until the legs are in a 90 degree angle. Roll until the middle of the back, until the thoracic spine. Then come back up again by stretching the legs. After 20 to 30 seconds, turn your upper body slightly to the left, 
so that the lower lateral back muscles are in contact with the roll. Now, the outer part of the back is reached as well. Repeat this on the other side. Each side is rolled for about 20 seconds. If a deeper massage is required, penetrating deeper into the muscles, use the Black Roll Duo Ball for this exercise. Shoulders, deltoids, standing. Stand with your back against a wall or position yourself slightly lateral to a wall. Arms lowered down loosely. Place the black roll or black roll ball behind the shoulder. In a slow and controlled manner, Bend the knees while keeping pressure on the roll. Now roll the shoulder blades until the end of the shoulder where it connects to the upper arm. Keep the arm relaxed while doing the movement for an optimal effect. In case you slightly lift the heel of one foot while keeping pressure on the roller, the massage effect is increased. Roll each shoulder for 20 to 30 seconds. To perform a more targeted massage, use the small black roll ball or a duo ball for this exercise. Upper arm muscles standing. Position yourself laterally to a wall and place the black roll just above the elbow on the outer side of the arm, between yourself and the wall. In a slow and controlled manner, bend the legs and lean against the wall. During the exercise, you can turn the full upper body left and right, or just the hand in and outwards, in order to reach the entire upper arm musculature. The pressure on the black roll stays consistent. To perform a more targeted massage, use the black roll ball. With a black roll mini or duo ball, deeper lying tensions can be treated as well. Roll each arm for 20 to 30 seconds. Latissimus dorsi, standing. Position yourself laterally to a wall and stretch out your arm on the wall above the head. You can also place your hand behind your head. The black roll is placed underneath the armpit, on the side of the trunk, so that it is not on the rib cage, but on the muscular part. Now lean into the wall. In a slow and controlled manner, bend the knees. Keep the pressure on the roll consistent and roll until reaching the armpit. The arms stay loose and relaxed. With a harder black roll or a duo ball, deeper lying tensions are treated. When your hand is placed on the opposite shoulder, bent behind the head, the upper part of the lats are opened further, which extends the massage reach. 
Roll each side for 20 to 30 seconds. Forearms, standing. Position yourself laterally to a wall and place the black roll mini or the black roll ball just above the wrist. The arms are hanging down. In a slow and controlled manner, lean against the wall to exert pressure. During the movement, turn the hand in and outwards to reach the entire underarm musculature. The pressure on the roll stays consistent. Roll each side for 20 to 30 seconds. Chest muscles, standing. For this exercise, we take the black roll block and the small black roll ball. Stand at a wall and place the block on it. Now put the ball on the surface of the block and lean into the ball, putting pressure on the pectorals, the chest muscle. Slowly move yourself up and down, right and left, to massage the muscle. Mind your breath during this exercise. Breathe deeply and evenly, and keep your posture straight. Roll each side of the pectorals for about 20 to 30 seconds.